All right, our next guest, you know, he was in some pretty big TV shows, okay? Like Taxi, Who's the Boss? And I love him because, well, he's a lot of fun. He's very talented. He's from Brooklyn. And Tony Danza has cemented his legacy as an entertainment icon. He's recently starred in the Netflix series The Good Cop. And he's taking us through his career with his live show called Standards and Stories at the Cafe Carlisle, June 14th through the 25th. It's always great to have Tony Danza on the show. Nice to be here. Nice to see Good you. To see you Are you ready to start singing and dancing again? I've been out doing it. You know, I'm out, I'm doing it a lot. I was in Binghamton last week. We were in Philadelphia at the live casino next Saturday night. And then we, um, in fact, Leroy Reams, this is a crazy thing, you know. Almost 30 years ago now, 27, 1995, I said, I'm going to be a song and dance man. i got to do this. And I've been working on it ever since. And finally, I mean, better late than never, but right. I kind of got it. And so now it's like a lot of fun. And uh, so we open at the Carlisle. Uh, which That's is, amazing. And I, I know that, like, everybody, who's who, it's, is coming to see you. It's, it's, oh, I know. There is right? A, I'm really, yeah. I'm Are you nervous? Excited. And not only that, you know, because it's the Carlisle, you never know who might walk in. I know. Yeah. Are you nervous no. I'm asking you? Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I have... Uh, I have performance anxiety. No, I want to. <laughs> I want to make sure I do the best I can. And what about the kids? The kids are going to come see you. My Your kids? daughter's coming. Yes, my daughter Katie, and she's bringing uh, the, the boyfriend. Uh, the boyfriend. Are yes. you going to meet and him for the first time? First time. Oh, yes, yeah. and then they're going to spend for Father's Day with me too. Oh, so that's nice. This is a great. I don't know if you know. You know, the Carlisle. When I was in eleventh grade in high school, I had a teacher, Mr. Messenger. And he used to talk about going to the Cafe Carlisle to see Bobby Short. It was oh. just this thing. And he'd talk about Cafe Society and how it was this great place and it was from another era. Well, to this day, when you walk in there, it is like going into another era. It's really something. And, and if you know anything about the hotel, you know, uh, it, was, it, was not, it was not doing well. It was built right before the, uh, the Depression. Mm. It was in receivership, imagine. And then Truman stayed there. And then every president from then on stayed there. And, of course, John Kennedy, he stayed there a lot. <laughs> well, with the Gumatas. <laughs> well, I don't want to say anything. But anyway, <laughs> there was supposed to be a tunnel and everything right. that you could sneak somebody in. But you walk in there now, and trust me, you know what the great thing is? So I'm there two weeks. They give you a suite. So at oh. night, after the show, we can have people up. You have a little oh, thing nice. where you can stay over. And yeah. here's the P.S. de resistance. What? They embroider your initials into the pillowcases, oh, nice. and so you know I've had a, I've been there like three four times now, so I got a, a pretty good set. Tony, <laughs> Tony, Tony, this is good. So what what do we learn about Tony Danza in this show? Um, well, I mean, I, it's it's look, it is an, an attempt to make an, a this is what cabaret is like. You, you try to make a connection with the audience, but I think what you learn uh, uh, as opposed to just facts is who. I am and what I enjoy doing and and uh, and then I can sing pretty good too which is I think pretty interesting. I yeah. love it. So yeah. you know your um, TV partner, former TV partner Mary Lou Henner was here last week. Oh my girl. And you yeah, you both were on Taxi together, started on Taxi She's together. She's my first girlfriend in Hollywood. She told me that she had a thing with you. She was my first girlfriend. I walked into the set and there was Andy Kaufman, Jeff Conaway, Judd Hirsch, Danny DeVito, another guy named Randall Carver and her. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. And yeah, we had a great time. She was, uh, she, she's one of the great girls of all time. She is. She's fun. And boy, you know what she does? Wait, she's got a memory. Oh, no, I don't She don't That's forget the big problem. Imagine, imagine your first girl, your, your girlfriend has a memory like that. I needed that like a hole in her head. <laughs> exactly. You tell her, don't you remember? She says, yeah, I do. But wait a minute. <laughs> you know what she does? She puts what? together, uh, you know, she's like the straw that stirs the drink. She puts together a Zoom. Every, every month, we all get together. All, all the, the taxi people? Taxi cast, Jim Brooks, we all get together on a Zoom, and we sit and drink and eat and talk. And, and it's so one nice. of the most, yeah, and it's incredible. So why don't they do a darn reboot? What, what's going on because with I that? Don't think, because I don't think you should do every show in a reboot. Why, you know? why not? They the are. The only reason, by the way, you know why they do reboots, right? You know that. The, the only reason why they do it is because they can't promote them. They can't promote a new show. How do you launch a new show with all this fragmentation? So... You have to have something that people recognize. Right. So, it, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm still waiting to see what happens with the, with the sequel to Who's the Boss. Right. More, that's supposed to happen. It's not right? a reboot. 
<laughs> no, I'm okay, kidding. Okay, so whatever it, is, <laughs> whatever it is, did you shoot anything for that? No, no, we just wait for the writers to, uh, you know, to, to write. It's, it's, it's Judith Light going to be part of it? She's going to be a small part of it. Alyssa but Milano? it's more Alyssa and myself. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah, it's Alyssa. Wait, myself. I want to get back to one more thing that Mary Lou said. Because it's etched in my memory now that you love to iron when you <laughs> relax. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my mother, my mother made me do, made me, my mother used to say, you, you don't want to go to school wrinkled, you better iron. And so I learned how to iron. I learned how to sew. I, and well, you know, when I did Who's the Boss, everybody thought, what an actor, I, you know, because of the way I could clean the house. No, my mother taught me how to do that, <laughs> you know, when she, was, when she wasn't yelling, don't surface clean, you know, she was something. But uh, I like to iron. I just, uh, it's Even very relaxed. Oh, yeah. I, do you, I, you sing while you iron? I sing while I'm pretty much when I do everything, just about. Uh, but no, I. But ironing is something else. <laughs> All right, Tony. I've you know I've I've run into you out a few times. Is there a special someone in your life? No, there's a, there's a, there's a few special people in my life. Because I rem like listen, I remember you for years, mm. and like there were times where you were dating some very high-profile people. Yeah, well, like what, can I, I don't know if I should say it on the air, but look, look at me. We all, we, we all look go at me. through stage, we all go through stages Remember in life. that one? But, but I don't really want to talk about the, 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 the you're going back further than I care to remember, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I but, got the uh, Mary no, Lou Henner. No, uh, yeah, but, but no, uh, there's a few special people in my life. There actually. are? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm happy, because I want to see you yeah. Happy. I'm I, really. I'll tell you the truth. You know what I'm happy. I swear. When I'm happy on it, when I'm on stage, that's when I'm really happy. Because you know, it's like, it's like when you cook, you're chopping garlic. That's all you can think about. You know what I mean? So it's, you get up there and, uh, and it's really become such a gift that you get to do it. And then, remember, it's every Italian's fantasy. A tuxedo, a microphone, and a stool. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Danza, can't wait to see you. Cafe Carlisle, um, June 14th through the, the 25th. 25th yes. and, it's, and it's a great, intimate oh, venue. It's, it's really something. Yeah. I was there Wednesday night to see Peter, Peter Sincati. Oh, we love Peter. He's the best. Yes. And, uh, he and didn't steal the salmon off our plate <laughs> when we were together at, he, at the party. Uh, he was great, but the room is so exciting. And, uh, it's great. The people that work there are terrific and it, it's just it's really classic new york i know so are you you are a classy new york tony danza go check him out much, cafe carlisle you too, you um, too. thank you um,